for this we need some working in the gambit and uh, we need to define the different surfaces in the gambit first in order to make the boundary layer I am deleting some unwanted edges at this moment and we will add the edges as required later on once the boundary is defined first copy vertices in the z direction in the y direction minus point point one similarly in the x minus point one and plus point one draw the edges these edges are almost at the 45 degrees angle The length of arc, this arc is 0 0.2. So we move, so we move this and other other edges by the distance of 0.2 in the the direction by copying command. So select these four edges. And copy them. Two and uh, delete these edges and uh, uncheck the lower geometry. Now delete the additional vertices. Go to the edge command. and create the additional edges join the two vertices on the right side and on the left side and then project the now project the vertex on the <coughs> on the curve this vertex on this edge and uh, turn on the option of uh, split edge similarly on the left side now join them Read the unwanted vertices. Also, project the vertices on the lowermost edge. These four vertices and edge this one and split the edge. Now, draw the edge.
and uh, also split the edge on the left and right side Now make the faces, first face, second face, third face, fifth, this is necessary to make the mesh mappable and as well as to draw the bone layer on the rib channel to all edges and make sure the arrows are in the same direction if not then click with the center mouse button I'm making ratio 1.15 and number of nodes and define the number of nodes on these horizontal edges and make sure that all parallel edges have the same direction 14 on the center edges setting interval count is 30 and ratio 1.1 on the two sides so check the double sided on the vertical edges a not 20 and the ratio is 1 Similarly on the this vertical edge and 14 points and then the these center blocks 10 points now make them face mesh before that we need to define the some other edges as well For this edge and this edge, make sure that the arrow direction is same. If not, then click the middle mouse button. Yes, middle middle mouse button. Again, middle mouse button, and uh, make the counts as eight. Now go to the face mesh command. 
and select all faces and then click the left button uh, click the right mouse button with the shift key pressed uh, in this region I think the face is not there so go to the geometry face and make the face over here then again go to the mesh panel and now we have the mesh in the region as well save the geometry Save the geometry and select the solver as 0.56 and then go to the uh, bonding connection panel. Before that, turn off the mesh and select the, these boundaries as the wall. and uh, name them the rib channel this one is uh, left wall this one is uh, right wall and uh, this one is the uh, bottom and export the mesh and uh, make sure that the option 2D XY plane mesh is turned on and accept and uh, then go to the fluent fluent 14 and 2D solver and uh, working directory is ICM CUD online before that change the date of the system because uh, for my gambit license which is valid up to the number uh, 11 I have to change the date but for the fluent we need the actual date press 2012 ok press the enter key again go and find the fluent program and uh, click ok now go to the file read mesh and read this mesh the name of file is a.msh that's all thank you